Lady. you get to now? Ah, lady, there you are. It's blacker than my wing pits in here. What are you doing, sitting here alone in the dark? Hmm? Hang on. Ah, lady, there you are. Where'd you slip off to today, huh? <laughs> Did you remember I was coming? Hmm? Oh, my friend. You forgot again, didn't you, kiddo? <laughs> I think I did. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, my word. Well, look at you all. Aren't you a grand bunch? My name is Raven, and may I say you have chosen a perfect day to be here. Today is Story Day. And I'm very pleased to say I have found our storyteller. <clears throat> Where'd you get to today, lady? Oh. <laughs> no clue, eh, kiddo? <laughs> well, can't say I'm too surprised. Your memory is not what it used to be. No, my friend, it certainly isn't. But the truth is, neither of us is young anymore, are we? <gasps> Speak for yourself, lady. You know how the saying goes. You're as young as a seal. You mean you're as young as you feel. Well, yeah, that's what I said. Oh, come here, you okay. silly old bird, and let me see you. Coming in for a landing. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh so good. Oh, that's good. Oh, just under the beak. Under the beak. Oh, yeah. <gasps> I brought you something. You did? Oh, boy, oh boy, what is it? What is it? Oh, oh, for me? Oh, you know I love presents. Wings. Oh, oh, cracker berries. Uh, for me. He, how, oh, how, oh, how much did you know how much I was craving cracker berries? Oh, come now. <laughs> you know they're good for you, and we must keep our strength up. We've got something important to do today, though I can't for the life of me remember what it is. Mm, uh, thank you. Hey, look over there. Oh, 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 oh that, was, that was so good. I don't think I ever need to taste it again. <laughs> now, we got to get on with our big day, lady. Do you remember what today is yet? Oh, not quite, no. Hmm. <gasps> what the? No, lady. Today is story day, not rubber chicken day. <laughs> That's okay, lady. That's why we have the memory box, remember? Yes, I suppose we do need the memory box, don't we? Mm -hmm. The memory box will help you remember the story. Come on over now, come on. <laughs> That's it. Oh, it's safe, I promise. <laughs> <sighs> and I'll be with you the whole way, you know, kiddo? Mm-hmm. Something's happening to me, Raven. I just can't hold on to my thoughts like I used to. Oh, it's all right, love. Just open the box and let all the beautiful things inside help you to remember the story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think you can remember the story now, lady? Hmm. hmm? 
Do you remember how it starts? Oh. I remember the story now. I remember it was about a girl. I remember how it felt to be young. Almost like I could fly. Oh, finally. I thought she'd never start. And we have so much to do. A long time ago, there was a beautiful island in the middle of the sea. And on the island, there was a little village, and it was situated at the mouth of a great salmon river. Every year, salmon would swim thousands of leagues, returning to this very river where they were born. They would lay their eggs, giving life to the next generation, and then swim back out to sea. That's right, lady. What else now? This was the home of a very special little girl. A girl in whose hands, though she didn't realize it, rested the fate of this special place. The girl loved her home. Her people lived simply and kept the old ways. They trapped salmon on their way up river and they took only what they needed to survive. They harvested medicinal plants from the forests, and for generations, the girl's people lived in respect with the river and the forest and all the creatures within. But then, then things began to change. As the demand from the outside world for more resources increased, the people's desire for material wealth also increased. It became like a hunger that could never be satisfied. They wanted more and more, and what they had never seemed to be enough. The people turned their back on the old ways, and they began to clear-cut the forest, and they put nets across the river and took every salmon they could until the salmon were nearly gone. The people wondered what had happened to the abundance they once enjoyed, but they could not see what they had done. And then, the guardian of the river and the forest, the Lady of the Falls, astonished by the people's greed, by their lack of concern for all other living things that shared their world, decided to take action to save the salmon and, and to teach the people a hard lesson. She summoned all her magical powers to trap the salmon at the top of the falls and prevent them from swimming back out to sea. And so... The next year, there were no salmon to catch, and all the creatures suffered. All the villagers were furious and held a town hall meeting to discuss what could be done. I remember. I remember the smell of my grandmother's tea. Oh, that was a good smell. Come back to us now, lady. Come on back to us now. <laughs> Easy does it, kiddo. That's right. Why don't you come and sit? Have a cup of tea, my love. It might help you on your way again. Yes, my friend, you're right. Tea will help. It always helps. I'll make myself a good one. Proper thing. It's always an adventure, isn't it, dear? Yes, it is. You know... Memory's a funny thing, isn't it? It can frighten you by going away and then overwhelm you by flooding back in again. <laughs> it's kind of hard to control, isn't it? Too true, my friend. <laughs> you know, we have to get back to the story, lady. Do you remember the next part? Oh, yes. I remember. 
I hear this so-called lady is really a monster. Yup. I heard she has four heads, the most terrifying heads. I heard it was six heads, six gruesome heads, with the strength to devour a whole school of salmon. Humans too. I heard she eats humans. Um, yes, and I heard that when she gets angry, all the heads breeze fire at, at the, the same, same time. time. I'm just wondering Yes, why. and I heard it was she who destroyed the forest. And it was her who dried up the river so she could eat all the salmon. We should burn her out. Yes, yeah, yeah, we should burn her out. Right I was wondering, why don't you just try talking with her? Talking with a monster? No, nonsense. Who would be foolish enough to try talking with a monster? Yeah. This is no place for children. Take this child out of here. Imagine the very idea. Well, hi there, kiddo. Hello. You sure showed a lot of courage back there. Me? Yes, you. It's not easy to speak up like that in a room full of grown-ups. And angry ones, too. You're right about that. You bet I am. You know, sometimes it's scary telling people the truth. Yeah, it sure is. But who's going to listen to a kid like me, anyway? Oh, come on now. When you've got something important to say, you gotta say it, right? I guess so. I don't think it's easy for anyone right now. Boy, sounds like the animals are hungry too. You bet they are. I mean, we all have to eat, don't we? Of course! We all need to eat. Hey, do you think it's okay to eat salmon? Oh boy, that's a tough one. <laughs> My friend, Barry the Bear, he loves eating salmon. But he only eats what he needs, and he doesn't leave any scraps. Believe you me. Yeah. See, I like it too. I only eat a bit, and I don't waste any. But in my village, they were putting the nets across the river, and every year they were trying to catch every single salmon. And sometimes they caught way too many and left them to rot on the beach. I don't think they should have been doing that because now there aren't any left. Right. Wish not, want not. Um, you mean waste not, want not. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> hey, you know what? What? I think there's someone with a lot of power who would be willing to listen to you. But only if you are brave enough to seek her out. Do you mean the Lady of the Falls? <laughs> How could I do that? I'm just a kid. Being able to tell the truth is a great power, kiddo. And just because you're a little kid doesn't mean you don't have that power. But the lady might want to eat me. I've heard such frightening things about her. Huh. Well, look, the lady wants to hear the truth. And she may just listen to you. And you might be able to convince her to release some salmon to feed your people. Here. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Take this feather. Huh. It's a magical feather. It will protect you from the lady. But you must travel upriver and find her. You must speak with the lady and ask her to release the salmon. All of our lives are at stake. Me? Travel upriver by myself? How can I do that? Well, you'll have to be very brave. It's a long way to the top. How will I find my way? You'll find your way. Just keep telling the truth. And remember, the magic feather! The girl looked at the feather, and she asked herself if she was really brave enough to do what Raven had told her she must do. She thought of her family, of her mother and father and how she'd heard them whispering that they didn't have enough food to last the winter. She thought of her dear grandmother 
and how she could no longer find the special healing plants to make her medicine since the forest had been clear-cut. And she knew that someone had to do something to make a change, or they would all starve. And so, the girl put her hand on her heart, and she said to herself, It may as well be me. And so that brave little girl began her long journey upriver with only a feather in her hand and truth in her heart. The way was hard when the forest closed in, making the world dark and strange, filling the girl with such fear. She no longer knew what was real and what was imaginary. It was all she could do to breathe and press on. Oh, the story is going really well. Oh, what's the matter? Oh. Come now, come now. There's no need to be sad on a story day, is there? Mm -mm. No need at all. Why don't you drink your tea, love? Hmm? Yes. <laughs> 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 There, there. Uh, that's better, isn't it? <laughs> Are you cold? I, I am a little cold. Well, why don't you put on your shawl, kiddo? That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see. There. That is better. There you are. My friend. Thank you. Oh. You are my dearest mm. friend in the world, aren't you? Mm, I suppose I am, lady. <laughs> and <laughs> we know that even in the darkest of times, there are friends to be found, don't we? <laughs> oh. <sighs> <sighs> we have to get back to the story, lady. Do you remember where we left off? No. <laughs> That's all right, my dear. Just go to the memory box. You're afraid, aren't you? Yes, I am. How did you know? It's easy to tell when someone's afraid. They try and make themselves small. But what you should really do is make yourself big. Big? How can I make myself big? It's easy. Look at me. I'm really small, right? <laughs> yes, you certainly are. But I live all by myself in this great big forest. You have to be super brave to be alone. You know how I make myself brave? How? I puff up my chest like this. <gasps> and I take up as much space as I can. And then I sing. La 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 la. La 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 You sing? Yes. I sing as loud as I can. And it makes me feel brave. 
Try it. Take up as much space as you can. Now sing with me. <gasps> la 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 la. La 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 la. La la la. La la la. La 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 la. La 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 la. 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 La 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 la. La 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 la. That's it. See, it works, right? <laughs> yes, I think it does. Uh, are you leaving already? Don't worry, you'll be fine. Just remember to sing. Do that so quickly without falling. Oh, hey, girl, it's easy. I just go with the flow. Go with the flow? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> go with the flow. It means I do not fight the way of things. Like when I'm in the water, I'm totally stoked to move fast with the current. And when I am on the rocks, I have to like slow down and move in the spirit of those rocks. I accept things the way they are, and I let go of me and become like whatever I move through. I flow. You flow. Yeah, I follow the nature of the water, like this, see? When I try to swim upstream in the middle of the current, see what happens? Whoa! Oh! Oh! Oh, I got totally destroyed. <laughs> oh, it's way too hard, man. But check this out. If I slip in here. Uh-huh. And here. Oh, yeah. There's no resistance. See, girl? I flow. Yeah. Wow. Come on, let's try it. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Flow. Yeah. You got it, girl. <laughs> All right, I'll check you later. Uh, okay, oh, you're leaving me already, but how, how will I do this alone? No one can save us but ourselves. We alone must find the path. You'll be okay, girl. Just remember to flow. Flow. <laughs> As the young girl struggled over rough terrain on her way towards the falls, toward a future that was uncertain, the animals went on about their lives. They too suffered from the lack of food security, and they wanted the lady to release the salmon. But they weren't tormented by thoughts of greed, by the insatiable desire for more and more. They were simply living, delighting in their nature, and foraging for whatever they could find. Woohoo! All the creatures except Raven, that is. Oh, our Raven delighted in his nature, certainly. This is awesome! I love my wings! But our raven also delighted in meddling, in reminding humans of what they had forgotten. The girl had nearly reached the falls when she stopped. She heard a voice in her head telling her that she was stupid to think that she could change anything, that she had left her home and her family and had come all this way for nothing, for some silly idea that she had the power to change the world. Who do you think you are? The voice asked her. The girl felt so small, felt her cheeks flush with shame, and she wished that she could disappear. kiddo you came back well who's to say i haven't been with you the whole time 
You're nearly at the falls. Are you ready to face the lady? I don't know. I guess so. You guess so? Huh. You can't succeed with half measures, you know. You got to jump all the way in. Otherwise, there's just no point. I know. I'm just afraid. You know what the right thing to do is. You may be afraid, but you have to do it anyway. That's what courage is, you know. Courage? Yeah. And remember, the first and last steps are the hardest to take in any journey. And you are nearly there. That's right. I am. Now don't let that lady frighten you. Quick, there's no time to waste. Now go! The girl closed her eyes for a moment. And then, from her deepest, wisest self, there came a new voice. Remember, it said, this is bigger than you alone, bigger than any one. This is about all of the creatures together. And she remembered what the bird had told her. You know how I make myself brave? I puff up my chest like this, and I take up as much space as I can, and then I sing. And then she remembered what the otter had told her. No one can save us but ourselves. We alone must find the path. You'll be okay, girl. Just remember to flow! And she remembered what Raven had said about her the night they met. You sure showed a lot of courage back there. And she knew it was true. And that she just had to keep going. The girl summoned up all her courage, raised her feather to the sky, and charged headlong toward the falls. Why have you come? I... I've come to ask you to let the salmon go. My, my people are hungry. Hungry, are they? Terrible what happens when people take more than they need and leave nothing for the future, isn't it? Yes, it is. So why do you think your people took all the salmon? I... I think they're afraid. Afraid? Yes. Afraid of not having enough, and so they take more than they need. Hmm. You may be right. You must be a very brave girl to have come all this way on your own. The truth is I'm afraid. I, I've been afraid this whole time. And yet you still came? True courage. What can I do to make you let the salmon go? My people's lives depend upon it. What can anyone make anyone do? I don't know. It sounds like a riddle. The answer is nothing. All you control is yourself, girl. Change yourself, change the world. What? When your people change, then I will let the salmon go. You recognize her, don't you, kiddo? Yes, I do. You know, you always could see the truth, even when you were that little girl. <laughs> Tell us, lady, what happened when you charged into that cave? What did you find? Was it, was it a monster? No, I found an old woman. <laughs> so what happened then? She frightened me, to tell you the truth. But I stood my ground, and I spoke to her, and she said... Yeah, yeah, what'd you say? She said... She said, Mother Nature serves all of us. 
every living thing, every tree and fish and bird and every girl and boy, and that there was more than enough for all of us. She said, my people had forgotten that we were all in this world together. Wow. So what happened then? I went home, and I tried to talk to the grown-ups, but they wouldn't listen to me. <gasps> Typical. Huh. So what did you do? I gathered all of the children in the village, and I took them to the riverbed, and I told them what had happened to the salmon. And then I took them to the forest, and I showed them how everything belonged together and depended upon the well-being of every other thing. The children listened, and they learned, and by and by, things began to change. And the lady kept her word and let the salmon go. Wow! What a story, lady! Whew. Hey, there's just one thing. How did you become the lady? I... I... I just don't remember. Oh, oh, it's all right. It's okay, my love. You remember the story. And it was a good one. <laughs> you know oh. what? What's that, my friend? You are still the most courageous person I know. Dear Raven. I think my friend, that it's time for me to go. I, I, I think you're right, lady. And, and I think that I go. Thank you. But who will take up the feather when I am gone, Raven? Who will it be? Just look out there, lady. Look at all those beautiful faces. There will always be someone to take up the feather, lady. Yes, I see them. They're lovely, and they fill me with hope. I hope you will all take up the feather when your time comes. It's time to go now. Everything has its time. <laughs> <laughs>